Hello, Infinity Kingdom audience. Hope you're having an awesome day, evening, or whatever time you're watching this video. Glad you're here. I'm glad you clicked on this video. So, I want to talk about King of Hill event. So, I'm working on actually doing well in this event, in placing. And the reason is because I got Dito. She's sitting there, got two le more levels to go to be maxed out. I only have three, so I got a long ways to go. And I want to take advantage of the King of Hill event as much as possible. Now, I'm not a big spender in the game, so I don't... With these events, you know, a lot of times it's not about getting in first place. You know, if you're a player like me, I, I'm not going to get in first place. It's going to use too many speed ups, too many gems, too many resources, whatever, uh, to make it there. I may be able to make it there, but in the end, I will go through, I guarantee, buyer's remorse and regret all the stuff I used. So my goal is when I do like something and I want to play something, I kind of give look at the rankings and the rewards. So let's take a look at the overall rankings rewards out of this so right now I'm on space 19 in this event so overall ranking is you know based on knowing my server results you know rank rank one is not going to happen overall ranking uh, rank two one two three is not going to happen so now when I start looking down at the rewards, okay, 4 through 10, you get 70. 11 through 20, you get 60. And then you drop again 21 through 30, you drop another, you drop 30. So here's my sweet bar, spot. This is where I want to be. I want to hit 11 through 20. So that is my, my goal. So, way to do King of Hill. There's certain tips, and I want to go through all the tips on doing King of Hill so you can, you know, do it as effect effectively as you can and tell you about some mistakes. Like, I made a big mistake at this event, and I'm really worried about it. And uh, I'm worried about today. So, let me go over some of the things. So, let's go into, back into it. I want to get out of here. Here we go. All right, so stage one doesn't allow you to click on it. I can't click on it, but stage one was, what was stage one? Okay, it was making troops and fortif fortifications. So that one's a really tough one if you're not a pay to win player. And the reason why is the amount of sacrifice that you have to do with speed ups because there's so many events, especially with Legion of Frostborn are going on right now. There's so many events going on where, you know, using up your healing uh, speed ups, using up your training speed ups. If you get rid of all those, it's going to make it that much more challenging to compete in other events. So what I did was, and that one, I didn't, I didn't want to, you know, you can look at my rankings here and see what I did uh, on that. Uh, my stage ranking is at 43. And I want to say I ranked number 30 around there. I wish I could see the different stages, but I can't right now. So I want to say that I ranked around. There is a way to show my stages. Where is it? I know I looked at it. Let's look at the rankings. Let's let's go in here. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so I ranked 31. So I definitely use use some speed ups and, and training and stuff like that. But I had to anyways build up my troops. So I didn't have a problem doing that. I wanted to get prepared for Legion of Frostborn, but I didn't want to overdo it. So with that, though, be aware of any type of boost that can help you out. Um, you know, don't forget your talents and changing up your talents to increase training. Uh, don't forget to look at any research. Uh, just take a look at, at anything advantage to help improve you. Now, the next day, this is a, a day that I think is 
if you're a player like me, the gnome hunt part is a way to take a, advantage. And again, that's where I was said, okay, I'm going to try to gain some ground here and really focus on the, the gnome part. So again, I wasn't in the top one, two, and three spots because I knew how much sacrifice it was to gonna to get me there. So my sweet spot, there was kind of a big drop after number three, and my sweet spot was was where I fell at was number five, and so you know that just took a lot of AP. I had a ton of AP already, and I just fought a bunch of norms now gnomes. When you do that though, pay attention to your battle reports. So let's go into my reports and let's go into battle and kind of look, where's your sweet spot? You know, so I did some golden, uh, golden path tasks so I can max out on that. So I was attacking, if you go back here, And further, see, I was tell you, I was hitting a lot of gnomes. And further, well, I was hitting, I was hitting rogues. There we go. There's a rogue. And rogues was not my sweet spot. You know, if you look at the deaths on on there, um, well, it's a deaths is not bad. It was seriously wounded, was a little high. Really, wasn't that bad. If I look at the raid, though, total raid. So total raid loss was 12,000. Uh, seriously wounded was 9,000. and dead was 10,000. Now, if I compare it to the tyrant, see how much uh, less that is. Seriously wounded, 3,600. Uh, 600. So that, that was kind of my sweet spot was hitting the tyrant at number 36. I've tried 37 and things seem, seem to jump up on when I did a 37. So I kept it at 36. You know, look at those reports there. That's that's what I want to get. A blow every every time I attack a below a thousand. Uh, that is what you want to do. You get a lot more hits, then you're not dealing with a lot of heals and you're not dealing with a lot of resources and you're not training a lot of a lot of soldiers so and you just got to be relentless with it kind of watch the, the rankings see where you're at and try to place as, as far as you can and sometimes you know you got to look at the king of the hill and and as you gauge things and you're saying okay i'm not going to compete this time there's a lot of people playing this time it's just not going to happen now the next thing is the resource part let me collect that So on the research part, this is where I screwed up. You know, I forgot that, okay, resources are coming up. I was, for some reason, just thinking about research. And this is where I'm not doing as well as I'd like to. And I may screw up the whole event for myself and not place as well as I like to. So, you know, with resources, prepare ahead of time. So let's go enter. And that's also with the, the training of troops. It matters when you complete the task, not when you start it. So if you're going into a King of Hill event, don't know what's going to be the first part, you know, because I, I have a tendency to think that they switch it up a little bit. So day one, what I do is make sure all your resources are maxed out. Uh, make sure training is done. And that will get completed. Make sure you're doing fortifications. So as soon as that starts, you're able to uh, complete and, and collect. Now, this is where I screwed up. Was I was collecting my resources throughout the day. And I should have allowed them to build out. You know, these are completely maxed out. So they can build up uh, a high amount. Um, I love it when it's all oranges. And I click on it and bam, it's, you know. 5 million of resources or higher uh, that gets filled up. I just love that feeling when uh, resources jump up real high. And that's what I didn't do. The other thing I didn't do was I was focusing so much on hitting gnomes that I should have sent out my secondary marches and 
got them collecting on resources ahead of time. So time it out, send out your resources ahead of time so they come in right when the, that resource collection starts. And again, if you don't know when what's going on the next day, if it's resource or research, just send them out anyways, just, just in case. And that's how I really screwed up. So I should have timed it. I should have had my secondary marches out here collecting resources. Also, don't forget uh, your boost. So, again, you want to take advantage of all your boosts. So, if you look right here, I got, you know, my gathering boost going. You got your harvest, logging, quarry, re refining, gold, all that going you know, to give me that extra edge. Uh, I also did, uh, I switched to my castle decoration. So my castle decoration is the turkey. And that gives me a production speed of all resources plus 3%. So I'm using that. Also make sure you focus on your skills and make sure that you have the right skills. So I switched to gathering skills uh, to get, allow me to gather quicker. Uh, and again, I made some mistakes. When you use boost, when you use talents, and when you use items boost that you have, it has to be done before you send out the march. It cannot be done after the march is already out there or uh, during that march. It has to be done before. So I had to recall my marches, put on the boost, and then send it back out, make sure the talents were on, and I wasted some talents because I had to recall, and I just didn't play it smart on this stage of King of the Hill. So next one will be the research. And again, with the research, take advantage of that so like I got research going on right now I got a 16 hour research 17 almost 17 hours now if I look at King of Hill how much time is left 18 hours so it's gonna finish before so that is not gonna do me any good whatsoever so what I want to do I'm a little behind the game what I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and speed this up And I wanted to take advantage of a research that's going to finish uh, during that. Now, let's see. Those are all eight. This is, how long is this? That's a 22 hour. So it's going to finish and I could start. It's going to be a couple hours, a few hours after. Um, 22 hour. I think that's around my lowest Let's see what I have on Immortals. That's one day, not that. Defense. Ooh, I got some of these defense. That's 18 hours, 41 minutes. So in, let's see, how much time did I have? It was 18 hours and 50 minutes, right? 49? Okay. So I'm going to wait a little bit. And then I'm going to start that defense uh, research. So that's going to finish right at the beginning. And then I'm going to use speed ups on research. I'm going to try to take advantage of the research. Uh, I got some catching up to do. So I'm going to be collecting a lot of resources on today. And with the collecting of resources, that's going to help me with the research tomorrow. And I'm just going to use, start gobbling up um, resources on research. So let me look at my speed ups. I mean, not resources, speed ups. So I got, there's 21 hours, got 73, and then a ton of these. So there's a ton of research. And then my universal, I got a ton of universal. So I'm not worried about speed ups. I hoard speed ups. I got a... You know, these building speed ups, just sickening, sitting collecting dust because I can't build anything. I 
can't wait. Now, I heard, heard a rumor that they're going to unlock uh, higher ranges so you could start building again. And so hopefully I'll be able to use those speed ups that, then. So, <clears throat> again, you know, take a look at your time frames uh, and take advantage of, okay, when to start it and when to complete it. That's, that's when it counts. So I'll be using a lot of speed ups on, the, on that. Um, and then the final day is battles. And Legion of Frostborn is going on, so I'm not concerned about the battle part. Uh, I'll definitely, you know, play somewhere. Uh, but, you know, because of all the battles going on, I'm not going to be placing near the top. I'm not a whale. So uh, that one's going to be challenging. So I really need to gain space on the research and gain some lost ground because I should be placed higher right now. If I played it smart and I would be placed higher. Uh, if I played it smart, I would say, let's look at the ranking, stage ranking. Uh, I got 12 million. See, I think if I played it smart, 16 million, yeah, I would definitely been in the top 20 i think if i played it smart but i didn't play it smart so here i am way back there but i'll try to gain back as much as time you know with the research day you just got to pay attention on your time frames set alarm clocks wake up send them out so i got 38 minutes there the rest of the ones i got three hours so at night, I'll be sleeping, uh, setting the alarm clock at three and a half hours uh, to send these guys out right away and then going back to sleep. And that is your tips on, on King of the Hill. So I hope that helps you. Uh, if I missed anything, please put it down in the comments. Uh, I try to cover everything as possible, but I just want to show that you don't have to be a pay-to-win player to to place in a decent spot in uh, King of the Hill. You can place there. It just takes focus. Obviously, every time it shows up, it's, you're not going to place. Uh, you got to pick your battles and say, okay, I'm going to really try hard for this one and place well uh, this time around. Maybe next time because you use stuff, you won't be able to. But I still think, you know, there's certain things that you could do, especially in no matter what. It is the Gnome Day. You could uh, spend a lot of focus on the Gnome Day, uh, the Research Day, and some other things. So subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up. Definitely more videos coming out. And have a nice day.